We've got Jack here from Birch Building and Landscaping, uh, and he is an absolute specialist in resort style living. Uh, phenomenal at what he does. So Jack, thank you very much for coming in and having a chat. Thank you, JP. Um, could you paint for us a bit of a picture what it was like before we started chatting or, because we started chatting quite a while ago. Yeah, um, that's right. Uh, about what a year was, and a half? About a year and a half, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was Birch like back then? Birch was only just starting. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we, um, we knew we needed to do something. And um, I remember first meeting you and, you know, just go, oh, you know, don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, then realised that we have to do it and it was really good. And then afterwards, yeah. um, it was a game changer, really. Yeah. And back then, you were still getting clear on the direction as well? Yeah, I guess on who we are and, and what we do as a business and finding our niche and, mm. and really kind of narrowing that down. Yeah. Um, like you guys have been pretty good on helping even guide that uh, along the way mm. to, to get that message yeah. that we're trying to get across. Yeah. 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 Um, when it comes to that, that message, was uh, how were you, before we really started working together, how were you sort of conveying that message? Or how were you communicating? Uh, well, we, we didn't really use much advertising. It was all word of mouth. Okay. And, um, yeah, doing kind of every job that w would come our way. Yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't really sort of structured at all. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, a bit messy, really. Yeah. yeah. I guess one question I, I never really asked you, because we started chatting and um, at that stage you, didn't, you couldn't make sense of, of the investment. Mm. Um, what was it that, that kept you open to just chatting to us? Because I feel like we built a bit of a, a friendship and you built a bit of a friendship with a number of us here mm. even before you came on board. Yeah. Um, why, from your perspective, why were you open to, to building that relationship? From what I saw from other builders that were using yeah. you guys. Okay. I was like, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, the price didn't matter. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. Like, if you know you need something to take you to that next step, yeah. then you just do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, cool. That's so that, cool to hear. I remember walking down the stairs that yeah. morning and just going, I don't care. I'm doing it regardless. Yeah. Like, so, mm. Sick. That was a good decision. <laughs> That's an awesome decision. Yeah. Um, brilliant. And if I think about back then, for you, like for any business owner, when you're making an investment, anything to take your business to that next level, there is that level of, like, let's say just pride you going, walking down the steps, I'm going to do it. Mm. What were some, I'm trying to think of like what people who might be watching this, they might resonate with it. But for you, just prior to that, what were some of the things that were holding you back or did you have any fears about it or concerns? Um, I guess on the investment side of things, on any small business, any dollar that you spend, you're going to flip it over before you, you spend it. Yeah. Um, but you have to look at that big picture as in, do you want to be seen? And how are you going to get seen? Yeah. How did you know it was the right time? Like why, why at this that point? This is actually a really good question. I watched yeah. a lot of these podcasts yeah. with other builders. Yeah. And they all say, I wish I had done it before. Okay. And I can say exactly the same now in this <laughs> position. Why didn't I go a year earlier? Yeah. Why did I wait? And that's what every other builder that I've seen. Yeah has done the same thing, said the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so what would you say to someone? Get out there, just do it. <laughs> just go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. And yeah. just get it sorted. Why? Why? Yeah. Because you'd be mad if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you have to be seen, you have to get it out there, mm. and you have to use the best. You have to um, align yourself with the right people. Yeah. To, to get that message across yeah. in the, in, in the say, right way and yeah. tell that story, you know. That's what you guys are yeah. great at, telling stories. Yeah. And actually, I remember you getting all of that out of me about my childhood and my dad and all these other things yeah. on why I do what I do. Mm. You know, all those story development sessions before we actually film. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. You know, it's not just filming a project. 
Someone yeah. said to me the other day, why don't you set up a camera and do a time lapse of the job? Yeah. I said, because they're boring. No one really wants to watch them <laughs> and they don't really resonate yeah. with, with a you know, time yeah. lapse. And I think, I don't know, maybe it's a personal opinion. Sometimes I feel like a time lapse doesn't at all capture your value. No. It doesn't capture the, the time that's and it. the effort and no. the passion that you put yeah. into. Yeah. It's all about the storytelling. And that's what you guys are about. Yeah. Is actually, everyone has a story and you're right about that. Yeah. Everyone's story is different. Yeah. And the clients are going to resonate with whoever's story. Yeah. You know? Now that you say that, I remember a few discussions we had where um, one of your concerns was, well, how are you going to make me That's right. different? What's my story? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. And, I was, I was, and, and just from me having spoken to you a few times, I was like, Jack, how are you not seeing your own story? Yeah. Like, I couldn't. I haven't, I haven't met. I mean, that's something we consistently see. We're yeah, yet yeah. to meet any builder B that is the same as build A. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, I've seen that in some of your other podcasts of yeah. people where they don't know. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. What, what difference has that made to you? Oh, that's been massive, even oh, yeah. for confidence level and yeah. for actually going out and, and winning, winning those jobs and, and knowing who we are and what we do and what our niche is and yeah. why we do it. Yeah. Like that just in its own was massive yeah. to, to realize the story. That was huge. Yeah. Like, Let's yeah. see, man. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I've told you a few times. I always get excited just chatting to you now because yeah. it is. It's a you've know, you've gone through a massive shift. Oh, huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you feel has been some of the biggest shifts apart from video, apart from marketing? That what is one of the, one of the biggest shifts personally you've seen in the past say year and a half? Um, getting really clear. Like we used to do everything. Mm -hmm. We did build decks and. Uh, pergolas and carports and you know full renovations landscapes pools whatever like yeah. whatever was going we would do it yeah and um, but actually getting super clear yeah. and then taking it to that next level has yeah. been you know, so it, it's and it's not just video yeah. you've got to have everything that goes with it yeah. website signage um, Facebook and Instagram and you need to have them managed properly. Mm. Like it's the whole package. Yeah. Everything you do has to line together, you know, it, yeah, otherwise, definitely. you know, so video is just part of it, yeah. but it's been massive, a, yeah. a huge, especially having lots of videos yeah. on the website. Yep. Don't just get one, you need, you need <laughs> more. People get sick of looking at the same one. Yeah. So having lots of content yep. and filming more, um, you know, we're going to do another one now. We're mm. currently halfway through one, yeah. but we're doing it. That idea, don't show it to many yeah. people because that yeah. idea is, is yeah. going to be groundbreaking. Yeah, I mean, it's been awesome to create some really amazing videos with you and we, we continue to create new videos and new stories because uh, the next question is, well, what do I do with the video? Mm. And that's a big thing that we like to help people with. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what's some of the bigger things, most powerful things you've seen that we do and help with the video? Oh, within the Facebook and the Instagram marketing. Yeah. is actually getting that message out there. Yeah. And again, telling that story, but through advertising yeah. and, um, and using those videos to, to show what we do yeah. and, and story tell, even on like the projects you know, yeah, yeah. that we're doing now, yeah. it's filming the projects during, mm. um, so people can relate. Yeah. When people see it, they can understand, oh, you know, these guys do this. Yeah. You know, this is what you're about as a business. These are your values and all yeah. of these sort of things. So, that's important. Yeah, that's definitely a massive part of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, one question I often get is, um, oh, what's, what's the ROI? Like, mm. And, and uh, you know, people want to know- The investment on The investment, return, if I'm putting- Return on investment, yeah. Exactly, mm. if I put this dollar in, what am I going to get out? Yeah. Um, and while that, it is good, obviously you have to measure and we measure everything. We want to make sure that you are going to get value from what we create. Yeah. What has been something that you've learnt and, and seen mm. uh, in terms of like a bigger picture? Yeah. Um, yeah. At first you think how many inquiries am I going to get from you know, putting these dollars down? Yeah. But um, you have to get the, the brand out there. You yeah. have to get people aware yeah. of your business and who you are yeah. and plant that seed early. They might not want to use you till next year. Yeah. You want to get that seed planted and then keep watering it yeah. so they can see who you are, 
and you know get the message out yeah to to people yeah so it's it's a big part of branding and like i've spoken um to you guys before on you know the the numbers yeah this is what you got from this month and this is your and i said i don't really care too much yeah, yeah. because the phone's ringing yeah. the inquiries are coming in it's working yeah so um those finer details uh, i don't find as it important yeah that's um, that's our that's, responsibility that's your business yeah, yeah. that's why i pay for, <laughs> for you to take care of it yeah you know don't don't yeah. bore me with it yeah, just yeah. make it happen yeah and it you know and it works yeah so well that's that's all that matters yeah if it works it's good you know yeah uh, brilliant well that's all you need we appreciate that trust yeah um same as you yeah if a client can, can know it. and come to you go jack this is the outcome we want yeah cool trust me just gonna get it. done yeah yeah one point of contact you're only talking with me. Yeah. You don't have to deal with any other stress. Mm. One person. Yeah. And we don't give them a lot of details or things that, like along the way. Yeah. We just get it done. Yeah. And they don't have to worry. They don't need any stress or the drama about yeah. that. Yeah. You know? What's it been like for you? I mean, I'm glad you raised that point. Like they come to you, they don't need the stress, they don't need all the detail, that they know it's getting done. Mm. If you put that onto our relationship mm. in business sense, um, what's it been like for you knowing that your marketing is being taken care of? Oh, it's just, it's, um, relaxed. Like it's so, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. actually just like, yep, just get it yeah. done. It, it, it's, it's a game changer because it really just, it takes that stress or that worry or having to even think about that mm. part. Mm. And that's why I don't want to know the little details because yeah. that's, you know, it's just, we're, I'm busy. Yeah. And that's one of the parts of how we run a business is advertising. Yeah. And, um, you know, as if it's taken care of, then that's all I need to know. Mm. So, yeah. you know. And, and with following on from that, knowing that that's been taken care of and you said you're now more relaxed, what has that then allowed you to do in terms it's of where do you spend time. your time? Yeah, it's now. freed up time for other things. Yeah. You know. yeah. Like what? Nurturing leads, yeah. um, engaging more with the clients. Yeah. You know. um, Lots of things, yeah. you know, being longer on site, yeah. you know, making sure that the job's running smoothly, all of those things. Yeah. 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 Um, I know you mentioned you're also doing some awesome um, business development and, and getting mentored. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned you, you've got more free time. That's it. To do some things you love. That's what the important thing is, yeah. to work on the business, yeah. make it grow. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that that we always get excited about as being one of the uh, first shifts our builders see is the change in conversation that they're having with some of their prospective clients and clients as well. Yeah. What have you seen from your side? The, the clients already made up the decision that they want to work with us. Um, they've already built trust from what they've seen. Yeah. When we do go to site now, yeah, yeah. like they're not even getting another builder. Wow, they, really? They've already made up, we want to work with you. That's good. So not, and they not... want to send us money, a deposit, <laughs> before we even get there to lock us in. <laughs> yeah. That's, wow, man. That's sick. Yeah. That's really good. For Birch, what is, what's around the next corner? We've got some good projects in the pipeline. Yep. Um, been busier than we've ever been. Yeah. The business is growing. Um, we're going to continue to film. Yeah. I want to film every project that we do, yeah. basically, because it's interesting and exciting. Yeah. We don't want to work on a project unless we can showcase it. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't want to take on just any job. Yeah. And we are able to pick and choose now because of the amount of leads we're getting you know, from the advertising and all yeah. of that. So that's what it's looking like for us, is just building great value for people and amazing projects that we're excited about to work on, the mm. team's excited to work on. Mm. Um, who knows? Like it's yeah, it's definitely looking exciting. Yeah. You mentioned it earlier that you're now wanting to capture every project. For you, why is it important to capture the story of every project? Every project's different. Yeah. Um, even though we are have a niche yeah. in resort style living and we do specialise in building the extension and the bifold doors and all of that that goes along with then your pool and your pool house yep. outside. Um, each project's different and it's worth showing and it's content mm. and it keeps people 
interested mm -hmm. and it gives us something later on to have as well yeah. to look back on and um, it, yeah, it just gives us content and a portfolio of projects. Yeah. Um, like why, why wouldn't just you, why wouldn't you film building some of these, you know, yeah. that for me, I just think it's, it's a definite, yeah, I, yeah. I just, I have to. Yeah. yeah. I talk to a lot of builders all over Australia and New Zealand, mm. but I'm going to give you some, some questions or things that they say. I want to hear what your response is sure. now. Um, so I'll just fire through a few. Uh, why can't I just create it myself? Mate, I bought a GoPro and a drone. <laughs> it's, trust me, you can't. <laughs> you cannot. That's it. Um, what about, um, I'm busy for the next six, 12 months. Um, talk to me in a year's time. No, you're never too busy. Yeah, you're doing the wrong things. You're not focusing on what you should be focusing on. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I've tried marketing. Doesn't work. You tried the wrong people. <laughs> Um, difference between video and storytelling? Oh, massive. Anyone can film a video. Yeah. Storytelling is like, you know, getting that story out. You know, that, that's, that's massive and that's what you specialise in, mm. is, is picking, picking that story, <laughs> you know. Yeah. We do that with our clients. I want to pick their vision. Yeah. We, yeah. We're doing a, a full outside, um, you know, entertainment, yeah. pool house, whatever. I said, what does your house look like inside? Take me through your house yeah. to get a full understanding of yeah. the design and feels and finishes yeah. and standards that they've got so we can recreate that. Same thing, trying to get that story. You know, yeah. That's massive. You can't just film. Film. Like I said, <laughs> before, better camera. I bought a camera. Yeah. And it, <laughs> you go for it. Trust me, I only tried it once and that was it. That was enough. <laughs> cost or investment? A lot of people go, ah, it's a cost. How do you look at it? Cost or investment? It's an investment. On our quotes, it doesn't say quote, it says investment. Yeah. Same thing, like, yeah. yeah. Um, you have to spend money to make money. It's a massive investment. Yeah. To go further on that, just one example that sticks out to me, I remember you telling me the story once. Um, a client was asking, oh, do I spend extra and put a pool in? Yeah. Remember that client? Yeah. And then you were like, what do, what do you say to them? Oh, uh, yeah. That was a client we had, and I, they said, oh, we don't know if we should spend hundred grand on, on putting this pool in. Mm. And I said, how long are you gonna be here? 10 years, okay. What's it gonna, how much value is that gonna give you in the next 10 years? Mm. Does it even matter then that 100,000? Like you're gonna use this thing for 10 years. What is that value gonna do for your life and your family's life? Boom. <laughs> A number of builders I talk to will go, oh cool, it worked for so-and-so, but I don't think it's gonna work for me. We spoke about this before, everyone's story is different. And I, I remember saying, how am I gonna tell my story? Yeah. But that's what you specialize in, yeah. is getting that story. Everyone has a story. Yeah, yeah. Or what about, um, that's and, and, and projects, but this is another thing. Yeah. Another builders have talked about, oh, we don't quite have the projects to show. Yeah. Um, and I didn't feel that either at the beginning. Yeah. And then I realized it's not about the projects. Yeah. It's about who I am as a person and as a builder and as a family man and what we do and what value we bring yeah. more so than the project. Yeah. Anyone can build a project, anyone yeah. can build that house, yeah. but it's more about getting that message across yeah. who you are and what your values are. Yeah, definitely. My company, building company is too small or I'm too young, um, I'm new. And I hear that from someone who's been doing it for five years six years and I've heard people who've been doing it, you know, obviously six months to a year and they say the same thing. What do you say to someone who goes, no, no, my business is too small, I'm too young. I've been doing it for 20 years and I thought I was too small and too young. <laughs> you won't be once you do it though. Yeah. You won't be too small then. Yeah. It's gonna just go from there to there. Yeah. And that's what it did for us. Yeah. Sometimes you hear people talk about, um, well, I hear a lot because I'm having the conversation, but mm. uh, oh, I don't wanna, I'm nervous about putting myself out there. Mm. Or what my friends and family may think or, you know, overexposing myself or, or saying the wrong thing. Um, what do you respond to that with? Mm. But you have to trust the process yeah. and you have to look at the macro, not the micro. Yeah. You have to look at that big picture. Yeah. Where are you going? You know, you just got to have those flaps on like a horse has yep. and just look for that target, that end target. Mm. How are you going to get there? Yeah. I knew 
that I needed a coach, I knew I needed video, I knew I needed marketing, I knew I needed signs. Yep. All of those processes I knew. If I don't have that, I'm not going to get there. I'll do whatever yep. it takes to get there yeah. to that end target. Mm. And they're all processes along the way. Yeah, that, that vision, I know that's a big shift I've seen with you as well. Mm. Is uh, Eye on the prize. Yeah, that's right. As opposed mm. to what's everyone else doing. Yeah. Rather than going, this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm going. Yeah. Full steam ahead. That's it. Yeah. And who cares about your mate? What he yeah. thinks? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And if we look at uh, you chasing clients or clients chasing you, what do you prefer? Oh, mate, clients chasing us for sure. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Clients wanting to work with us. And they've already made up their mind that they're going to choose us. Yep. Like I mentioned before, they want to pay me deposit before I've even been to site. Wow. So um, that's a massive thing. Rather than chasing every job and driving out to every job, yep. you know, we, we qualify our leads. Yep. And we don't go to site until they've gone through the just questionnaires and all the you know yep. scope document, and that they're actually going to be a fit. Yeah. Because we need to know you know timelines and are we going to be a fit together? Yeah. Um, but having the clients come to us rather than us looking for them, mm -hmm. massive, massive, massive huge, massive. yeah. Facebook, Instagram, video, storytelling, yeah. all of those. Wow. For builders that are in survival mode, what advice would you give to them? There's a lot of builders that don't value themselves or charge enough or sit themselves in, in a kind of a market where they actually put themselves in a vulnerable position and they will go broke or bust because they're not looking at that bigger picture and what they need mm -hmm. to do. So they've still got all their other overheads, but no one knows about them. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. they're not getting out there. If you're getting out there and getting those jobs and doing them well, there's you know, like, there's no, you shouldn't be in survival mode. Yeah. There is no such thing. Yeah. You just have to, make sure you've got all your processes. That's ground rule number one, yeah. getting the foundations right or the, or, or the roots of the tree. Mm. Then you grow the tree, then you get the fruit later. Yeah. If you don't have roots or foundations, yeah. Yeah, then you can't grow. Yeah, so, that's a big thing. Yeah, so yeah. What, following on from that, what's it like for you now, um, knowing that you have the security of, of, of there's demand for you mm. and there's, and you, because a lot of builders are like, I can't tell people to wait. They won't wait for me. Um, and, and now you're in a position where you can tell someone, oh, we can they'll get wait. started. If they want you, they will wait. Yeah. What's that like for you now, having that, knowing you've got that security, that pipeline? Oh, it's great. It, it, it frees up time. It keeps um, cash flow. Yeah. Um, it keeps the guys happy. It, 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 it's a win-win all around. Yeah. 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 What is something that you, if it's say closing remarks, that you'd like to add or share with some of the builders that might be watching this? Um, like, like we spoke about earlier is I wish I had done it earlier. And that's what I've seen a lot of the other guys say. <laughs> like, that's yeah. my only thing. Yeah. Uh, it is game changer. Yeah. And yeah, it doesn't matter what size you are. Mm. You, um, you need to get it out there. Yeah. Oh, one thing I would like to talk to you about is um, I mean, like, we love what we do here. Um, love working with, with people like you, Jack. Uh, but one thing we get excited about is, and we, we try hard to, to create a community and to create something more than just, you know, what we say we do out there. Um, you know, I know you've made some good friends and, and been connected with some mm. other, you know, friends of ours or clients of ours or prospects of ours. Mm. Um, what's that been like for you? I, um, the whole biz video community almost I call it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not just videos that I get. Yeah. Um, great advice from lots of guys in the team, yeah. you know, like met designers, other yeah. builders. Yeah. Um, yeah, heaps and you know, different parts, not just it's not just video. Yeah. It's kind of like lining yourself around other like-minded mm. people, mm. but all of those other builders and, you know, you, 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 it's like putting yourself in this category yeah. of the best. Yeah. Like you want to be the best, you know, all the, all the other good builders 
are doing it. <laughs> you want to be one of them. Yeah. You got to do the same. Yeah. Like you, you, that was sort of a thing for me. Mm. Oh, I want to be in this kind of category. Yeah. I need to do this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then was really actually surprised and impressed on what else I got out of. Yeah. You know the the biz video team. Yeah. Because it's been like a great support and you know, yeah. great sort of networking and yeah. you know, all of those sort of things that go along with it, which yeah. is awesome. Good. That's yeah, really cool. Thanks for sharing that yeah. um, and artic- articulating like that because that's something that we just get a lot of joy out of yeah. is making connections. And I, I know chatting to you mm. recently, you know, you've become really good friends with some other um, builders who um, have said they're going to be coming on board pretty soon, but they're like-minded, mm. you know, the same vision in terms of what you're wanting to create and grow yeah. and aligning yourself with them and bouncing ideas off with them mm. or some of the designers. Yeah, that's, um, it just, I mean, we say, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's also what we're trying to do in the industry as well, is just yeah. lift everyone. Yeah. Um, well, I say that to a lot of people, it's not just video, it's a whole community that sort of comes along with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Jack, thank you very much, man. No worries, really thank you. It. Oh, pleasure, thank yeah, you. Man. Good to see you. <laughs> you too, always. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Keep smiling. <laughs> you too.